Stock Battle. Reninja Hunt. Hunt. That sounds like bias. No, I'm kidding. I love you. And we love getting into this house, especially going into someone like um, the Professor MGW and duking out with someone like Fawn of all people. Oh, yeah. Like you mentioned earlier, this is all the hits are rolling tonight. All the best players from Xenos and Series are here to make a statement. Of course, Fawn is going on an absolute tear right now. Just duck on doing the duck on things we all know well and fine. And this Greninja, unfortunately, has to interact with all of these things because if it's one thing Greninja <laughs> is, he's a very up close and personal character. Yeah, trying to use that Water Shuriken right now to disrupt the momentum. And we're seeing Fawn right now not really setting up a lot of, uh, you know, those lane traps that we typically know her for. That's one thing I really love about Fawn's Duck Hunt is her ability to play it flexibly. Like, this character has such good buttons that she can just play him as a rushdown. We're Let me seeing right now. For sure, it's like a cannon is definitely set up under that platform, and, and Professor is doing a really good job by kind of finding his way around these cannons very effectively with someone like Greninja, which is much easier to do than other characters. So we're seeing a great approach coming through, and Fawn does find a way to get out of it, but the Shuriken there to interrupt the cannon, and the Gunman was super mm. solid, but unfortunately, Fawn wins out of that projectile duel. That's the thing, man. In a matchup like this, where Greninja is forced to get most of his damage with getting all the, the CQC, getting up pr pressure on shield in general. Fawn's like, wait a minute, I've got this can right here. Every time you touch it, it explodes, you take 20%, and I'm fine. So I win every single trick you throw my way, unless you reuse something like that, like a counter. MTW definitely has to think outside of the box when fighting a character like Duck Hunt. Yeah, and I mean, that's just really one of the huge faults of Greninja. Greninja does not have a good grab in the slightest, so it's really going to be on MGW to use his movement to mix up Fawn to find those openings, but so far, not finding too much, almost getting lapped in percent here on his second stock. Absolutely beautiful parry coming in from Professor, but is it going to be enough? It absolutely is. Jumping over the gunman, going to be waiting at the option from Fawn, who likely wants to, be, wants to use the can to cover the cover the space of her, of her recovery, and now we're back to pretty much a neutral situation, resetting it almost in Fawn's favor. We're now with Professor off stage, and again, the can comes through and bites him. The thing we're seeing MGW really struggle with right now is that he can't really get any meaningful hits. Like he's finding some water shrink, he's finding some, some forward airs here and there. He can't really find anything to take the stock. Especially against a character like Duck Hunt, who lives stocks for so long, it makes this matchup so much more difficult. Like, Fawn is just winning all of these trades, and you're looking like, okay, they're having around the even same amount of hits, but Fawn's at three stocks, and MGW's at his last stock. It's just making it so difficult for him to find if anything started right now. Finally finds stock here, though, with the, with the forward air. But I mean, that's really where the difference maker is, is because Fawn gets so much value out of her advantage state, out of the stage positioning. That's where she's finding all of this value from those meaningful hits, like you were saying, Momo. Oh, all this pressure on the ledge, on, on the edge of the stage oh. here. The gunman set up, and so does the can. Gets knocked over to the right side of the stage, and Fawn puts it right back to the middle, meaning that a lot of the space is kind of rendered unuseless for Professor for a little while there, but thankfully, now that it's gone, I mean, we have a person can play the game, but can he really? We get, we were able to get okay. a really slick little combo here, a little 40% on Fawn, but with her with two stocks and Professor at only one and at 117, is looking more and more in Fawn's favor in this game one. That pivot grab was sneaky. Yeah, it's, like I under, I see the game plan in, in MGW's mind. I see it like, okay, I'm gonna play from the mid range. I'm gonna use Water Shuriken. I'm gonna stay outside of your immediate range and duck hunt. But then the second you get a, a disengage, you get like what 40 percent, and Font's already got you at 150. Now when it comes to closing the stock. You actually eventually have to approach as Greninja, and you make this one small mistake. You got the gunman set up. You got the can set up, and Fawn is on the prowl for you to make a mistake just like that. That neutral air saving MGW's life from the can, but will it be for too much longer? All right. Can it kind of biting Fawn. They're putting her at the ledge. Let's see. Starting to play around these cans with the F tilts. Not oh. playing the sort of autopilot Greninja play like you typically see. All right. Oh, okay. big circuit! Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're back. We're actually so back. Never mind. It's never been so over. Ooh. It's never really been more over. Oh my god. Oh, a little bit too high on that recovery, and we yeah, go down. Yep. This is the third time you've seen someone just go down. Like, 
from the recovery. Sometimes oh. it just happens. We got some votes for Station 20 by... Start the battle! Ren in jump! 